Hey everyone, welcome to our new year goal setting vision um, launch for the 2018 year. Welcome to the call. I know a lot of people couldn't make it live tonight, so I'm just going to record this. And it looks like we have Laura here from Idaho on live. So welcome, Laura. And welcome everyone who's watching the recording or who's jumping in later. So I just wanted to make a quick or do a quick video call um, to set our vision, to set our goals, to know you know where we're going, what we want out of our business, out of our life um, for 2018. So this is something that I do every year. I've done it um, you know several years since I started my business. I just passed my sixth year anniversary, and each time I do this, this really helps me set my intention for the year. So I have some tips on how to do this, and then I also have some examples of some past ones that I've done, um, and just some guidelines to follow. So, so this call is really just um, a kind of a how to do it, and then we're gonna show our vision boards in our new coach boot camp. Um, so once you're done, then just take a picture of it and post it in the group, and um, we'll share them. So. First of all, um, if you don't already want to grab a pen and a notebook, and you, there's five things that you want to do when you're creating your mission and your vision for the year. Um, so first of all, you want to decide what you want. Oh, and also these are the things that we are going to cover in the goal setting um, bonus next week. So Monday through Friday next week in our a new year new you challenge so if you're listening to this um, I still need a couple more volunteers to do live videos on these topics um, so topic number one number one is you need to decide what you want so we decide what we want out of the year um, if we don't know what we want then we won't get it right so we have to be very specific of what we want and then we're gonna create a plan to get there. So um, here, I just wanna show a couple of examples of some vision boards that I created in the past. So this one, if you can see, um, this was when we were moving to California. So we moved to California um, three years ago, January 1st, and so I put a picture of that I wanted to um, live in a house in California so that's this was on my vision board before we got there hey Elisa great to see you How are you great welcome great to see you so um, we're just talking about the steps to creating a vision board and then we're gonna post these in our new coach group so um, so step number one is decide what you want um, so welcome everyone, welcome who's joining the call. We're so excited to see you guys here. Um, so this was, this is just an example of a vision board that I made a few years ago um, before we moved to California. So, um, or I think we were like thinking about it or something. So um, anyway, I put out a picture of a house. I wanted to live in a house. We were in an apartment and I wanted to live in a house in California. So I put that here. Um, I put, we wanted to do uh, retreat for the coaches and so we did that in Arizona we did a, a leadership retreat and it was awesome um, I posted I, or I put I wanted to have baby and that's the year we got pregnant with baby number three um, I wanted to earn the beach body trip and I was able to do that um, yeah, I put how many people I wanted to help and you know what I wanted to do I wanted to go skiing with my family um, in Utah and things like that so um, so very simple you know not you don't want to put too much on there because you want to make it really simple so that you can make a plan and reach those goals so that's one vision board I did um, here's another one I did when after we had our baby so I wanted to get my body back um, and so this was 2016. Um, this was New Year's 2016. So two years ago, I wanted to get my body back because I just had a baby four months ago. Um, you know, I wanted to redo our kitchen floors and we were able to do that. I wanted to run a half marathon. 
um, you know, just all of these things, work on nutrition. I wanted to uh, go on the beach body trip. Um, so anyway, just kind of goals set out there for my vision. Um, and then last year I made it even bigger. So this was like a giant one that I did last year and I won't go through all that, but you kind of get the idea, right? So number one is you've got to know what you want. A lot of times we're just kind of going along like, oh, that'd be cool to uh, replace my income or that'd be cool if I did this or I wish I could do that or I hope I could do this. Um, but any of those words make, make it not possible, right? So we've got to be very clear, very specific on exactly what we want to accomplish. Um, and like I say, I would pick like, I don't know, three to five main things that you want out of the year um, and pick a picture that goes with it. So like if it's a health and fitness goal or if it's a business goal, um, you know, I always encourage people to put like, uh, you know, how many people that you want to help in the year. So if you, like, let's say you want to help 100 people in the year, so that's one of my goals, um, help 100 new people in the year, so then that's about eight people per month, just over eight people per month. Um, so then you can break it down. You can take your big goal, and you can make it smaller and break it down. And so, um, so number one is decide exactly what you want and be very specific in what, what it is. And then number two is decide what your definition of success is. And I think this is really important because a lot of times, um, you know, we want these big goals. Um, and I've done this before, you know, like you've gone to big goals, um, but, you know, we've got to see what our definition of success is. Because if our definition of success is something different than the goal, like, for example, like, um, you know, if our definition of success is spending quality time with the people that we love and we're going for this big goal and we're not spending any time with any people we love, we're sacrificing all of these, these things to get to our big goal and we ruin all these relationships along the way and then we get to the, the success, that's not real success, right? Like that's, that's reaching the goal, but that's not our definition of success. And so we need to decide, you know, what is our definition of success like what are our priorities what's important to us so I would write down you know like your top things that are important to you in your life you know like for me like you know my faith is number one super important to me um, my, my husband my children um, you know those are top those are top things my family my relationships um, those are top before my business right and so I've got to see like what's my definition of success and so that's what I've been evaluating uh, today. I've been doing a lot of things, um, just evaluating what I did last year, what I want to do this year, um, you know, setting my time, how I'm going to work my business and how I'm going to work around my family and things like that. So, so de decide like, what is your definition of success? And, you know, when, cause, because when we reach a goal, then we just want to set another goal, right? There's never like a destination. Um, there's never like a, we, we arrived. Um, I actually, I went to a devotional um, a few months ago, uh, the BYU in Utah, if you guys know BYU, I know Elisa knows BYU. Um, they came and played Fresno, California, where I'm at. And yeah. they were talking sports and they were talking about, you know, going for the championships and, um, you know, just all these things. And they were saying, um, you know, like it, it really wasn't in like winning the championship, like winning the championship was cool, but, um, you know, the success was the journey along the way. The success was in the journey to get to that championship game. And so we never want to say like, yay, we arrived at success. We're just going to sit back, you know, um, we're going to, you know, get there and then set another goal and then set another goal and just keep progressing. So um, anyway, so think about what your definition of success is and, you know, what it will feel like, what it will be like. You know, I know for me, my definition of success is that I have my priorities in line, right? That I am focusing on the, my key priorities that I talked about, you know, my faith, my husband, my kids, if those are in align, alignment and I'm having success, um, you know, of course we're gonna have to sacrifice. That's a given. We're gonna have to sacrifice sometimes, um, but you don't wanna, 
sacrifice so much that we get off track on our definition of success. Okay, so then number three, step number three is to set goals. So set SMART goals. Um, so SMART is specific, then measurable, then attainable, realistic, and time-bound. So S is for specific. So you want to set a specific goal. So let's say, for example, um, you know, let's say, for example, our goal is, um, and let, let's hear it. Like, let's hear what are some goals, raise your hand or shout it out. What are some of your 2018 goals? And then we can set a set goals. To um, pay off my car. Okay, Cause awesome. Because I, I got in a car accident, which I had paid my car off last February, but I totaled my car. So now I want to not have a car payment. And it's not like it, it's a major car payment. I just don't like debt. So I just want to get my car paid off. Okay, awesome. So what is your car, what is the total payment that you owe? Um, so each month or total? Total. Total. Um, it's 6100 So 6100 okay. Yeah. 6,100. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, so that's a very specific thing. So I like on your vision board, I would put a picture of your car and I would put the total amount and that's actually something I, I do. Love <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah. So you want to take a picture of it where you can see it every single day and you want to put the total amount. And this is something I do every week because um, we get paid every Thursday, right? Is like, um, cause I've been trying to pay off some debts. So I put like my debt, um, on a sheet of piece of paper and then every week I'm deducting what I'm earning. So I'm earning and I'm chiseling it off all the way down. Right. And so, um, so we need to know, you know, so what's your car payment each month? Uh, it's 124. So it's not, yeah. So I can, I can definitely, there's wiggle room. I can put more down, you know, so it's not a huge payment each month, which is nice. No, that's good. Okay. Let me just write this down. So you said 6,100 and then 124. Yeah, correct. Okay. okay, cool. And so our first goal would be to pay the car payment with your beach body business, right? So right. So yeah, so that would be number step number one. And so if you are helping at least three people per month, so you'd write down three people per month with a challenge pack, and they got, let's see, they got this $160 challenge pack, then you'd be earning $50 from each person. So then that would be $150 per month that you'd be earning. And so just helping three brand new people get started with the challenge pack would would give you more, you would make a profit. You would earn $150 a month, so that would give you 26 extra dollars that you could put even more down on your payment every month. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. so that, yeah, so that's a very specific goal. So we say, um, so we're going in the S, so S is specific. So we would say uh, goal number one is to help three people per month get started with a challenge pack, right? Okay, yep. so so measurable, so that's yep. measurable. measurable. Yep. yep, so we know that's measurable, and then attainable. We know yes, that's attainable. It's been it's been done. We know you're not saying you're going to help fifty people a month, you know. Um, so it's it's attainable. Um, are realistic? Yep, it's realistic. You can absolutely do that. And then time bound. It's time bound because we're going to say we're going to do it every month. And I would even do it more specific. You can set a date. Like I'm going to do it by uh, January 15th, every, you know, the 15th of every month or like whenever your car payment is going to come out, you could say like, you're going to have it done before the car payment's going to come out so that you could pay your car payment with your beach body income. That would be so cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's, yeah. that's awesome. So, so you see how we do that? We, so we say, um, you know, here's the goal. And then we set, make sure it's a smart goal, um, you know, instead of making it like so, because that's the other thing, you want to make it smart so that it, you don't, um, you know, feel like a failure. If you're like, well, I'm going to help 100 people every month, and then you, you know, are way right. below the goal, you know, we want to gain confidence in this. Yeah, um, it needs to be realistic, attainable, because if it's something that's really 
not something you can do like re realistically, then you can get really down and yeah. So no, this is great. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. So then I, I would even go backwards more than that. So if we say we need, we need to help three new people per month and then you go backwards and you say, okay, how many people did it take for me to have one person buy from me? And when you're first starting out, it might be like 20 people. It might be 20 people to one. Um, when you get better and better at talking to people, it's the numbers go down. Like you could maybe talk to 10 people and one person could get started. Um, so, but you want to take it, you want to go backwards and you want to say, okay, so uh, I just had a sale, you know, awesome. Someone bought a challenge pack. So how many people did it take for me to talk to before I had that one person? And so, and then you go backwards from that and you say, okay, if it takes 20 people, then how many people per day do I need to talk to? And so if you say, I'm going to talk to 20 people per week and you're working five days a week, then that's going to be four people per day, right? So if you just talk to four brand new people per day, five days a week, then that's 20 people per week. So it's pretty cool like how it compounds over time. And so if you're just doing like small, um, you know, so you're like, okay, I'm going to talk to 20 people per week, then that's four new people a day, Monday through, and you could even do it like Tuesday through Saturday, but that's at least five days a week, right? And then yeah. if you did 20 people a week, then that's 80 people a month. You know, that's a lot of people. So, you know, that's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, so you'll, you'll be compounding. And the cool thing is like the more, the more we get out there and talk to people, the more people just start showing up too, because you could talk to someone and you could say, you can ask for a referral right away. Do you know someone else that would, you know, need what I have, whatever you're talking to them about. Do you know someone else? Do you know someone else? And each person can refer you, you know, so it can compound over time. Um, I mean, that, so that's basically if you're just going on the retail side as well, as far as earnings. Um, let's say you bring two coaches onto your team that do the same thing as you, you know, then it, it compounds. You're getting team bonuses. You're starting to earn more. I know for me, when I had I think it was eight coaches that I added to my team and like four of them were helping three new people a month and I was earning about a thousand dollars a month. Um, so it doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take a lot. It just takes finding the right people. Um, okay, cool. What, what's another goal that anyone else has that they want to shout out? I want to quit my job. Okay, awesome. Yay, Lara. How's it going, Lara? Oh, it's going. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, so let's let's take Lara's. So so Lara knows so we just we just went through the steps, right? So she decided she knows what she wants. So she wants to quit her job. Um and so how much do you make in your job? Uh, I've only got a thousand dollars a month. Okay, so $1,000 a month. So on her vision board, so Laura, on your vision board, I would draw a picture of you, I mean, find a picture of you doing whatever you would want to do besides working at that job, okay? <laughs> so if you're like, yes, I would much rather be spending time with my family, I would much rather be cooking or sewing or whatever you would want to do instead of working at a job. I would take, I would put that picture on your vision board and then you want to define what success is to you, right? So define like what are you willing to give up to make that attainable and then we want to set SMART goals. Okay, so our goal here is to earn a thousand dollars a month and so I would give you the same advice that I'm giving Elisa. And this is a good idea for Elisa to do too. Um, so, because you want to eventually compound, right? So, um, so I would, I would first work on helping three new people per month, get started with a challenge pack backwards to see how much, how many people it takes to talk to one person to get started and then work on getting to diamond. Um, you can get to diamond I mean, it depends on how many people you talk to. Um, but the faster you get to diamond, 
the fact with with people doing the same thing as you, right? You don't want to just have an empty diamond. Um, you right. can get to a thousand dollars a month. It took me so I started in January 2012, really going for my business. It took me until about May, so it was like four and a half months ish um, to get to a thousand dollars a month. Okay. Okay. So so. So just so we recap, first you want to decide, you already decided what you want and you put that on your poster and then you decide what, you know, your, what you shoot is your definition of success. What are you willing to do to reach that goal? And then you want to uh, make sure you're setting the smart goal. Um, so we want to set a time bound. So I would set a date of when you're going to be diamond. And then once you set that date to be diamond, then you want to see. I it. have it set already. Oh, good. Okay. What's your What's your date? Awesome. June first. Okay. Awesome. I would I would definitely move it up. Okay. Okay. I would. Yeah, you could totally do it. Um, yeah. I mean, it just depends how many people you talk to, and the more people you talk to, the easier it gets. So, but I would I would absolutely move it up to May first. At the latest. Hold my lanta. Does that make you okay. nervous? Yes, it does, but that's what's taking me out of my comfort zone. So that's what I'm looking for, right? Yes. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so we want to help you get out of your comfort zone. So perfect. Okay. 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 So then um, another thing you want to do, so going back to Elisa and Solara here. Um, so Elisa would say, in your positive affirmations you do every single day, you want to say, so Elisa would say, I pay for my car with Beachbody. And when you're talking to people too, you say, I'm paying for my car with my Beachbody business. That's why I'm doing this. You know, because it, that's, that's more relatable if you say that you're paying for your car payment than oh, you yeah. made a full-time income in a week, you know? <laughs> so, but if you say... Yeah, I'm paying. That's why I'm doing this to pay for my car payment. And you tell everyone you're working on paying for your car payment. That's why you're doing this. Um, and then Laura, so what you you say? You know, I'm working on doing this so that I can quit my part time job and be at home more with my family. And so then you would say, um, you know, you'd say that every day. I I am earning a thousand dollars a month. So I can quit my part-time job and stay home with my kids more, stay home with my family. Um, and then, like I say, telling people the reason, you know, when, when you do that, then it just makes it so much more real and people can catch on to that vision and that dream. So, okay, cool. Anyone else? Okay. Well, if you think of something, we'll jump in. So, um, so we went over this top three things. Number one, we decided what we wanted. Number two, we just de we defined our definition of success. We know what success will feel like, what it will look like, and what we're willing to do to get to that level. Uh, three, we made sure our goals were smart goals. Um, so that's specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time bound. And number four is you want to set your business hours to get there. Okay. So the thing that's cool about business hours is you can adjust them, right? Because you're your own boss. So the most important thing is you're doing them, not when they are. Because a lot of people are like, I don't know if I could be consistent. At, and so the thing is being consistent at having them, not at having them at a certain time. Okay. It's kind of like your workout. Like it's better to get a workout in than to have it at the same time every single day. Right. Okay, so the thing with business hours, I would recommend you want to have at least one hour a day. Uh, so my goal is three to four hours a day. That's my goal. And I just posted my business hours so you guys can see them. Um, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do during those business hours. And so it can, can help you with some guidance. So um, first of all, I'm going to wake up early. My goal is to wake up by 5.30 in the morning to do my workout first thing and get that done. So I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to do my workout, my personal development, my meditation, my journal writing, right? So I'm going to have a, an hour blocked out for that. 
And then I'm going to take the next hour from 6.30 to 7.30 to do contacting. So this is crucial. Oh my gosh. If we do this first thing, um, this sets you up for success. Okay. So when you're doing your business, you want to number one, talk to new people. You don't want to talk to anyone that you know first in the day. You don't want to check groups. You don't want to message anyone you know. It has to be people you don't know. So like we talked about, you know, with Elisa's goal for four new people a day, that's what you would do first thing. So, you know, before I'm going to check groups or check messages, I'm going to do my contacts um, first thing. So you're going to do your new people first, and then you're going to do your invites next. So you're going to invite people, things we can invite people to, right? Uh, Pure Results Fitness Group. So this is, this is my plan. I'm not going to be really running any free stuff on my own. I'm just going to use the Pure Results Fitness Group this whole year. I'm going to see how it works. I've done it separate before, and I'm going to try to do it this. So you guys can join in. You know, the Pure Results Fitness Group is running. It's going. I'm going to run it, and we're going to run it together as a group. Um, the key is having the one-on-one -on -one conversations behind the scenes, not necessarily just adding them to the group. So, but we can invite people to Pure Results Fitness. We can invite people to the team challenge. We're going to do a team challenge in the app every single month. Um, you know, our 80 day obsession group starts on Monday. You can invite people to be, become a coach and, you know, do what you do. And like I say, it's just super simple. Meet new people or take care of you, meet new people and invite people. That's all we're doing. Right. Um, so, but I'm going to make sure first thing in that morning, that first hour is I'm going to, you know, have new conversations and I'm mostly using Instagram right now. Um, that's working really great for me but you can do it through any social media. So I'm gonna do my initial conversations. My goal is five per day. My brand new conversations is five per day. And then I wanna do my invites right after that. Um, and just super focused, just set a timer and don't get distracted. Don't um, let anything distract you. Make sure when you're doing your contacts, it's super focused. Um, so then my goal is to set up phone calls. So my goal is to have at least one phone call a day, one to two phone calls a day with new people. And so then I'm gonna set the phone calls up for the middle of the day, um, like 12.30 to 1.30, and, or in the evening. And then I will, so I'll do, you know, take care of me, do the contacts, and then from 7.30 to 12.30, so that's five hours, I'm just with my kids. I, you know, I have two kids at home that are six and two, and they take a lot of time and attention. If I turn my head, the house will be destroyed. Um, so, but that, from that time, I mean, the cool thing is, you know, you just block it out, get it done. And then I have that whole time open where I'm going to un unplug from my phone. I'm not going to answer messages. I'm just going to focus on quality time with my kids. Um, and then I have the 1230 to 130 block when, you know, I take my, uh, second daughter to school and our youngest is getting tired. Hopefully we're going to wear him out, right? <laughs> During the morning. Um, so but then I have that block where I'll check in again, uh, message people back, do the phone calls. Um, and then the eat. So then the rest of the day um, where I have that open space, that's another time when I'm with my kids and my family, I'm going to eat dinner. I'm going to, you know, spend time, um, you know, doing what I need to do around the house. And then in the evening, I blocked out some more time where I'm going to do team calls, one-on-one -on -one calls with coaches. Um, you know, I'm going to write on my blog. Oh, another thing I'm really excited about is I'm going to do interviews. I'm starting tomorrow, actually, where I'm finding people on Instagram and I'm doing interviews on my Facebook page. So like tomorrow, I have two lined up, one for tomorrow and one for next week. Um, a lady that's gone through postpartum depression and you know talking about tips on overcoming that um, so I'm going to be interviewing people and they're going to share it on their Instagram that's a great way to expand your audience for free and it's just a great way to build connections with people that have similar audiences as you um, so I'm going to be doing that once a week I'm just going to do a blog once a week and an interview once a week um, but I'll do that kind of stuff in the evenings um, so that's that's kind of what I'm doing, but I'm planning on working three to four hours a day. Um, but so, and if you don't have a lot of time to do your business, 
focus on that one hour, you know, that one hour of, you know, basically the business activity tracker. And I'll post it with this video so you guys can see it again. And it's basically the checkoff list that Tess posts in our boot camp. Just go down that list. Um, and the cool thing is you really don't have to run anything. I mean, you have to run your own, at least one social media like Instagram or Facebook to find the people. Um, but then you just invite them to what we're already doing. Just plug them in and you don't have to really run anything. So that would be awesome. Um, I mean, once you start, like once you get to diamond or, you know, start getting a lot more people paying customers, then I'll help you to like, I have my all in boot camp That's like my paying customers and coaches. I'll help you maybe do that, but other than that, we're working together to run things more smoothly. Okay, so any questions on step number four, setting what you're gonna do? Was that helpful kind of to know what to do during your business time? Yeah, well, that was great. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so number five, okay, wait, I got ahead of myself. So step number four is to set your time when you're gonna do it, and then step number five is be specific. So we just kind of went over that, but be specific on how you use your time. So little things add up to big results. Um, so another thing is like, if you feel like you're not reaching your goal, um, it's kind of like, um, you know, if we're not reaching our health and fitness goal, uh, like keep a journal of, you know, like when you're, your your food, right? So when I'm like gaining weight, it's usually because of nutrition. I always know I eat, you know, that's my hardest thing. So if I write down everything that I eat, then I can say, oh yeah, I had way too much carbs. Oh yeah, I had way too much ice cream. You know, like <laughs> I can see where I'm, I'm off, right? So the same thing with our business. Um, if you're not feeling like you're reaching your goals, then you want to write down everything that you're doing during your time. Like if you're like, I'm really working hard, I'm doing all this stuff, I'm not seeing results, then we wanna write down everything that you're doing when you're working. When, because the hard thing is, you know, as we're our own bosses, right? No one's over your shoulder. No one's saying, you know, hey, Meredith, do this, do this, right? Um, it's it's up to us, and so we have to be disciplined on the things that we're doing. And so that's why um, I'm going to be doing. Where is it? Uh, every week, I'm going to get back to this, and I would encourage you to do this. And you can post this in our our boot camp group, or you can send it to. Uh, your your mentor. I think most of you guys are working with me. Um, some of you guys, if you're watching this and you're Bob's, then you can do this. But this is so helpful. So can you see? Um, it's so helpful because it gives you exactly everything to do. And at the end of the week, you can say, okay, this is how many people I talk to. Um, and then we can say like, okay, you know, Lisa, awesome. She paid her car payment. So then we can see how many people did it take for her to talk to to pay for her car payment, right? Um, or if, you know, Lara's really excited to quit her part-time job and she's not getting as close as she wants to, then we can evaluate and we can see like, okay, where does she need help with? Um, maybe she needs help on the follow-up. Maybe she's great at talking to people, but the follow-up, she's kind of nervous to, to follow up. So maybe we need to do more of that right there. Um, but the more we can track, I know when I started doing this with my mentor, I doubled my income in six months. I took it from 1,000 to 2,000 in six months. Um, and it was awesome, because that was life-changing for us. Um, okay, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover. Um, so just the five steps, and like I say, these are this is what we're gonna cover in the 80 Day of Session group. So if you wanna be someone to do a video, then let me know, I'm looking for two more people. Um, so the, the videos are gonna be on each one of these five steps. So step number one, decide exactly what you want. Step number two, define your definition of success. Three, set your SMART goals. Four, set your hours, and if it's with your fitness goals, you just set your time, you know, like when you're gonna work out, when you're gonna meal plan, that kind of stuff. And number five is just be very specific on how you spend your time. Little things add up to big results over time. And that's, you know, basically the compound effect or the slide edge, uh, little things over time. That's, that's why um, someone said, you know, uh, do you think I'll reach this goal? And that person said, you know, well, what are you doing today? What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing every single day? Because you can determine someone's level of success by what they do every single day 
and it compounds over time. And then over time, you're like, oh my gosh, I reached this giant goal that took me, you know, like I'm kind of excited to probably tomorrow I'll pass um, earning 250000 total in my business, which is kind of crazy to think of getting to that point over six years. Yeah. Um, but it was just like these little things, you know, little things over time and reached big goals. Um, so that's it. Oh, the other thing I guess I would say is um, every day writing your, so take a notebook or something and write down your top three things that you want to do every day. Um, so with your personal life and with your business life. So this is something I've been doing. This has helped me. I learned this from our church class that I took. Um, so like for my personal <laughs> Take a shower. That's on my list. I know it sounds weird, but if you're a mom, you get it, right? Or even if you work, you know, and you, um, so taking a shower, reading my scriptures, and spending quality time with the people in my house. So those are my top three things to do every day is my personal, and then my top three things in my business, or talk to new people every day. Um, check in or invite people to everything we're doing and then three is uh check in with my current you know people that i'm working with that's what i do every single day um so yeah that's it um do you guys have any any questions or things you want to add no so you already you said that you have three people for your videos already and it's a total of five so like you need so you like you said, you need two more. What are the topics that um, are left that you need to assign? Or are you just asking for volunteers right now? Um, I'm asking for volunteers. I haven't assigned any topics. So if you want to volunteer and you like a topic, then I can put your name on the topic. Okay, well, I'll volunteer. I'll do a video. I'll, okay. I'll volunteer if you want me to as well. Awesome, yeah, that sounds great. Okay, do you guys have a topic that you would like? Whatever you want me to do, I'll do. Yeah, they all sound pretty great. <laughs> okay. Um, it's up to you. Yeah, it's up to you, Shannon. What did you say? I, I, I said it's up to you. Okay. What do you want us to do it on? <laughs> okay, sounds good. Let's have, um, let's have Meredith do your SMART goals. Does that sound good? Okay, not a problem. Awesome. So, the, and this is focused on health and fitness. And so, yeah, so just focus on um, setting your SMART goals to reach your health and fitness goals. And then let's do Elisa on a setting time. So let's do that number four, um, setting time to, so like scheduling your workout, setting time to meal plan and get ready and cool. Yeah, and then I think I have three other people already, so we should be good on everything else. Awesome. And then um, I will add you guys if I'm, I've been adding people. I, I don't know if everyone's been added yet. So I'm going to keep adding people tonight to the challenge tracker app. Um, and then officially starts on Monday. Um, so we'll do a video every day next week on our goals on this goal setting stuff that we just talked about. And then um, take action like basically next week um, is just kind of prep week getting ready to start the workout um, but I'm also going to encourage everyone to do a little obsessed starting on Monday because that's five days and we could do a little obsessed Monday through Friday and then work on goal setting and get ready and then officially start next Monday so that's kind of the plan of what we're doing um, and then we're going to start the 90 days to excellence program again with Bob starting next Tuesday and we're moving it to uh, on the hour so Cindy's gonna help me to uh, introduce the call so we're gonna do um, so six o'clock Pacific seven o'clock mountain time nine o'clock Eastern and we're just gonna keep it straight to 30 minutes every week on Tuesdays. And then we'll do uh, once a month, we'll do an event on Wednesdays for the next challenge. So like we're doing the new you and the next month is look great for your date um, for February. And so we'll talk, talk about that in the middle of January. And then once a month, we'll do a coaching call during our team call as well. So it pretty much should only take us 30 minutes a week for the training with the team. 
and then uh, an extra 30 minutes for the event. So, okay. so really yeah. quick, back to the videos. Not that I didn't hear all that. <laughs> back to the video. Um, <laughs> no, you're good. Uh, is there a length you want us to have it on? And do you, do you want us to do it on that day or can we pre-record it and then just upload it? I mean. Good question. Yeah, thanks. Um, so yeah, just keep it like, um, I don't know, five minutes or less, uh, or maybe even three minutes or less. It doesn't need to be too long. Um, do you know, I can't remember how long you can have it in the app. Do you remember what the time limit is? I really don't remember. I honestly don't know. I really don't. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I forgot. So yeah, three to five minutes and you can pre-record it. So if you want to, that's a great idea. Like if you want to do it on the weekend, pre-record it and then just upload it and have it ready to go. Um, yeah, that's no, okay. no problem. Yeah. And then, um, so basically it would go uh, Meredith Wednesday and Elisa Thursday next week. That's the next week, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So on, let me grab the calendar. So... It's on, it starts on the 8th, and so Meredith's would be on the 10th, and Elisa's would be on the 11th. Okay. Now, this is great, because I just did, like, the whole smart thing in my, in my personal group. So, you know, about talking about, we did a letter every day. So, you know, oh, great. But now it's, this is great. You know, I can just rehash it. We've got everything. <laughs> so, yay, three, three minute version. Fun. Awesome. Yeah, well, and this is it's a great opportunity to in, invite people that you're, you've been doing this with and say, hey, I'm going to do a video in our bigger challenge. So that'll be okay. awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, sure. No problem. Cool. Well, um, any other questions about this or anything? No. I was going to say my goal, but, like, it sounds like Laura and – Lisa kind of got it covered. I was like, well, yeah, my goals are like kind of a combination of the two. So, I mean, like I would, I, my daughter wants to go on this trip to, with the rest, of, like in a, about a year and a half to, um, oh, Washington, D.C. And then for a week. And it's one of those trips that it's like the, like one of those trips of a lifetime, but it costs like $2,000. Well, <laughs> well over 2000 and um, she was like, yeah, and mom, we, you, they need chaperones. And I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> so basically take what she's, you know, what she's paying, double that. So it's about $4,000. And I'm like, okay, good news, we've got time, but still it's like $4,000. It's about, that's, that's like a used car right there. Well, like, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like at least the price of a <laughs> It is. No, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and then, um, and then, yeah, I'd really like to, I mean, like, not that rank is important, but I'd really like to be at a certain rank before Summit because I promised myself, you know what, I'm not coming back to Summit as an Emerald. I just do not want that to happen. So I'm like, okay, what are my goals here? Let's, can we get serious about this? What are we, what are we going to do here? So, um, yeah. I'm, so yeah, that's where I'm at. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, you know, some other tips on like if you're going for a goal to add more coaches to your team is, you know, finding ways to talk more about the business too, like in your posts and talking to people, you know, like I said with um, Elisa, you know, I'm doing this to earn my car payment, you know, that's, that's a, a really relatable thing that people can be like, Oh, I wish I could pay my car payment or I wish I could pay for uh, groceries or, you know, a date night or, or whatever, like start out with things like that. And then once you reach it, it's, it's awesome. Cause then you set another goal, like, okay, I'm going to pay for my rent or, you know, whatever the next thing is, but, but find ways to talk about it in your social media and in your conversations um, about the business. And then, um, be intentional on inviting people to join you. Um, you know, as far as finding good coaches, the best coaches are people that um, have tried the programs first. So, you know, if you've invited people to use the workouts first and then invite them to become a coach, that's a real natural way. Um, you know, but you can also like, like people who like fitness 
or who like to help people. Those are great people just to get started and um, work on their journey and help people along the way. So, but you know, the, wor the worst thing you can do is not ask because the answer is going to be no, no matter what you don't ask, right? You never ask, it'll always be no. Right. <laughs> so yeah. So, and, and a lot of times it takes people a good five to seven times before they'll say yes. And so, you know, no, doesn't mean not now, like, you know, I'll do a little tally. Okay, they said no. Yes, I got that one out of the way. <laughs> you know, and you keep just keep inviting them, keep checking in. Um, you know, just keep um, sharing you and your journey. And so, yeah, I think a lot of times people are just kind of waiting for you to slow down or stop. But when you keep going and you start seeing some success, then they're like, oh, wait, this is actually working. Like, this is actually good. Maybe I should be a part of it. So, yeah. Yay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, anything else? We'll take a picture. You got a good yeah. smile, Meredith. <laughs> oh, I like Elisa. Let's fix the hair. Fix it. I don't know. Oh. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, let's do this. This is actually okay. me all this is me all natural right now. So hey. Perfect. We yeah. love it. We love it. The hair is gonna do what it's gonna do. Just take pictures. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, we'll do one more just to make sure it's a good one. Okay, ready? One, two, three. All right, so the action from this call is to go through those five steps that we just talked about and make your vision board for 2018. So um, you can draw it, you can get pictures of magazines, you can print stuff online. Don't don't worry about making it too, you know, don't worry about all the details. Just the most important thing is to put stuff down and then to put it where you can see it every day and focus on it to visualize. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to say is, I don't know if you guys saw, I've been doing this all today so that I could tell you <laughs> that I did it already. Um, so I, I do once a quarter. Um, I print out and I put it in the boot camp group, but I have my vision and then I have my goals and then I have like monthly and weekly and daily and a personal goal that I'm kind of focusing on. Um, anyway, I posted it in the boot camp and you guys can take a look, but I do that uh, quarterly. That came from the book. Um, I don't know where it went. The 12 week year, which is awesome. I um, have that. Okay, yeah, so, and I'm gonna read that again. I, that, that's a great book to read again right now, it is the 12-week year to set your goals for 90 days and then evaluate, you know, how did it go, and then you set it again. So basically the year started January 1st and goes to March, end of March. So, so set kind of, so you have your, your vision and then you have your quarterly plan and then you just, you can evaluate it, you know, every week, every month, every quarter. Um, because a lot of times if we just have this vision board for the year, then it seems kind of daunting and huge. And so you break it down into quarters and then to months and to weeks and to days. So. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. 2018 is here and it's going to be amazing. So I hope you guys have an awesome night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye.